What's up dudes and dudes, it's here and my name is Seth and today we're going to be taking a look at Drive, Drive, Drive. Links are going to be in the description for everything and everything about this game. Uh, we're just going to skip right over the training and jump right into the races so that I can kind of explain the gameplay to you while we're racing. Hopefully I'll be able to do a good job of that, however commentating and racing usually doesn't end up mixing. Would very much appreciate though if you hit that, hit that like button, helps me out more than you know. You can, as you saw right there, use uh, the normal campaign or go to custom levels and stuff like that, which makes this game very exciting. Once you're actually at this hub area here, you can see uh, as we're progressing through the game, we're going to unlock different planets, and each planet is going to end up having different levels. So we're just going to start on the first level just to kind of keep it nice and simple. Uh, you can end up changing the difficulty at any time. We're just going to go to normal because I suck at this game. And then the way that this game ends up working, why it's called Drive, 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 is you're going to end up controlling three different racetracks at the same time. So we're going to be unlocking cars as well as levels while you progress through the game of course which is going to make things a lot more exciting especially if you've seen the trailer the late game is full of very futuristic cars and levels and everything like that uh, well right now this is kind of just a standard zone Think of it as two Hot Wheels tracks, both racing separately, uh, but also at the same time. So we're going to be controlling this character right here while an AI bot is going to control the other lane. So we've got another character on the top racetrack that is being controlled by an AI bot. And as soon as we get this guy into first position, let's swap over to the other car uh, and try to see if we can end up keeping our position for both of the players. Your boosts are limited. Uh, it's kind of the same as the burnout games where you end up gaining boost for crashing into other cars and uh, doing drifts and stuff like that. And uh, overall, you just got to race your butt off, honestly. And just uh, the way that the game ends up working, too, is there's only going to ever be one lap at a time. As you see that track uh, flashing on top of us, it means that the other AI bot is actually losing his position uh, in the other racetrack. The drifting takes a little while to get used to. Of course, you learn all the controls uh, once you end up getting... Uh, going through the tutorial area hopefully i can end up getting at least first place with this guy and then maybe with this other character while we're actually hovering in this menu right here time has stopped so you can actually take a little bit of a break and a breather whoops <laughs> uh honestly speaking i'm not sure how you would end up securing the first position with multiple cars just because from what i've seen anyways almost every time i end up swapping off of the uh car to control the other one the ai bot always just starts losing uh, like very rapidly just starts falling back in the placement you know but it still is a very interesting concept uh this level right here you're gonna see we're gonna be controlling three different lanes and of course there's different camera angles as well you can end up playing this in first person or uh uh, a further camera away like this one, which I would definitely say is probably the better one. Oh my goodness. Uh, and yeah, as I said too, with the drifting and smashing other cars and stuff like that, you're actually getting different points, uh, or getting points. It's all the same points, you're just getting more, right? And the whole point is you're trying to get as many points as possible while also securing a good position for yourself uh, to try and complete the mission based on like either, okay, do we have to get a bronze for this mission or just a gold? Uh, kind of stuff like that. So let's see if we can actually swap over to the top lane right here because this guy is getting his butt kicked. You can see the indicator in the bottom left uh, where it shows what position you're actually in with which car and we actually very luckily right there ended up getting first place with all our characters however you can see that we didn't end up getting uh we got points don't get me wrong but we didn't get as many points as we could have gotten by smashing into other cars and stuff like that getting first place is not always the main objective of this game so like right here mode arcade target thirty thousand points uh and target metal is bronze at the least i haven't played this level so i'm assuming this is going to be exciting because it's uh, called cross-platforming or at least I think that's what it said. But the whole point is, yeah, we're going to end up getting into very cool things like this, where you're going to actually see all of the other cars and uh, be able to kind of crash into them as well. Uh, the other thing, too, that's really, really neat is as you end up completing your first lap and uh, having the first racetrack end up 
getting destroyed, honestly. Uh, the other cars on the lap on top, or uh, on the other track, are actually going to fall down onto your uh, track. So it's it's very exciting and very uh, very cool when you end up seeing like a car complete the first lap and then suddenly, oh, you know, all the other enemy cars just ended up breaking down to uh, where you are. So let's see if we can actually secure ourselves a nice position here. The drifting would be, oh man, I could see this game being a lot of fun though, especially with the drifting and the skilled driving and stuff. It plays and handles very, very well as well. Uh, that's the thing too, and that is always a requirement of any racing game is that it's got to play well, right? Ooh, did we end up getting enough points? 35,000? I think we only had to get 30,000, and we ended up unlocking another car, so we might have enough time uh, to complete another lap right here. Let's see if we have enough time to get all five of these maps, because that's the thing that I love about this game as well. And it's very, very fast paced, you know? Like, that's the thing, is you end up just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying it. I'm trying to go too fast and I wanted to turn that into the sound of a car engine but it sounded silly in my head so I I pulled back but needless to say just the way that this game plays and handles is very very well done like they ended up doing a fantastic job making a very fast paced racing game because that's the thing is as much as the game you know the game's beautiful for sure but the fact that you're actually controlling multiple laps uh, and uh, you know have uh, all the different cars and each of the uh, levels themselves are, are going by so so quickly uh, means that I got a really get used to the drifting. I'm too used to uh, Mario Kart drifting where it's got a little bit more pull. Ew! Well, we completed them all at the same time. Needless to say, uh, the fact that they've managed to make a racing game that is this fast and crazy, the only other game that kind of can compete with something like this, uh, which, of course, you know, that's kind of a different idea, but the Burnout games, I, you know, those games end up having the same formula as this one, I would say, very close to anyways, where it's fun, addictive, it's quick, and you just get to go for it, you know? So we got a time trial mission right here. Race to the finish lines as fast as you can. Challenge yourself to beat your best ghost time. So you can end up uh, facing against your ghosts as well. And the levels are starting to get a little bit more complicated, as you can see. Hopefully we're going to be able to do something here, uh, which means that we're going to have to try and manage uh, how many different cars. we got four different lanes that we got to manage all at the same time, uh, and they're all actually, they're all actually, uh, oh boy, they're all the exact same track as well. Oh my, and we do not want to fall off, no! Well, there goes that guy. <laughs> uh, maybe he ended up resetting? Not exactly sure on that one. Uh, I know that there is a reset button, so that could end up being the case. Let's uh, get rid of that guy. I wish that there was a nice little uh, pause uh, when you ended up swapping the cars. Maybe there is if we end up doing something like this. Nope, that's not resetting the camera at all. Uh, of course, if I ended up letting go of the gas, we could just very easily uh, not be drifting and just actually start hitting the brakes. But, ooh, I'm gonna... Oh my. Okay. Well, I'll leave the racetrack to that guy and see if we ended up doing okay there somehow. But, uh, yeah, it definitely takes a little while to get used to this game for sure. Oh, I didn't even notice that he still wasn't complete and time ended up freezing. That's why. Okay, so we got 183 seconds total and got a silver medal for that one. And now we ended up unlocking the next planet. So that's very, very exciting. What is this as well? Turtle power. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what that is. Let's do one track on this advanced level here, or advanced level, just this area level. Um, Modus purist, target 18 points and bronze? That's all they want from us? Seriously? Or is it because the level is going to end up being that complicated? Maybe. Ooh, that's looking really cool. And it looks like, are we gonna be managing four different lanes? No, just three different lanes. Okay, and most of these characters actually are rocking uh, the same car as we are now, so that's where things are getting a little bit tricky. Uh, this game very much is reminiscent of, like, F-Zero as well, isn't it? That's the thing, too, though, is typical of bot racers is, uh, you know, they're going to cheat a little bit, and uh, they're going to be able to keep up to you despite the fact that we're using our boost like a crazy person and everything like that, right? I don't know why our camera is slowly freezing. Is it because this place is just so cold or something? No, stay on the track, Buster. 
Even though we're using our boost, we are not actually able to keep up with these guys right here. There we go. We just rocketed through them all. Yes! No, and then suddenly they're super duper fast. Okay, but we got to get this guy uh, to a higher position. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, dude. Can I do it? I don't think so. I'm not good enough at this game, but at least we're destroying these other cars, kind of, anyways. I do still want to get first place with this guy. Like, come on, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, one of the lanes ended up completing. One of the lanes ended up completing. Both lanes ended up completing. Rip me. It's so difficult to keep track of so many different cars at the same time, but at least we ended up getting our bronze reward, and, uh, oh, the score is only for the position. So we perfectly nailed that level and ended up getting another beautiful car. Uh, that's really, really cool. Links will be in the description for everything, though, folks, because that's all the time that we have for today. Very cool game, to say the least. Definitely check it out, and uh, would very much appreciate if you would hit that like button, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Let me also just double-check one last thing before we call it for today. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure to let you all know that there is multiplayer where you can end up uh, creating matches and playing with friends and playing against other people. So definitely keep that in mind because that's where this game would definitely end up seeing the fun, uh, the most fun part, right? So anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Sayonara and stay epic.